Not many people have had the chance to scratch the head of a platypus, but the Taronga Conservation Society Australia wants this endangered animal to be here for generations to come. They've built a first-of-its-kind platypus refuge, equipped to house up to 65 platypus at a time. Right now, there is so much to learn about the platypus, and we know so little. These facilities will be critical in building our knowledge so that we don't let this iconic creature slip off the earth. These duck-billed mammals have webbed feet and spend most of their time underwater. They like to live on their own, so each platypus pond will be separate and we'll be able to feed them. Conservationists hope this new sanctuary will encourage breeding. They have even built nest burrows for future platypus eggs. How about tickling the belly of a baby otter? On the other side of the world, humans at the Chicago Zoological Society had to step in to care for a North American otter pup after they determined his mom couldn't give him the nourishment he needed. This unnamed little one is about a month old and is currently being bottle fed. Veterinarians hope to reintroduce him to his parents once he is weaned off the bottle. With slurps like that, you know this baby elephant was hungry. These orphaned elephants are cared for at a nursery run by Sheldrick Wildlife Trust inside Nairobi National Park. All of their charges are milk-dependent babies, either rhinoceros or elephant calves, who are recovering and learning social and survival skills. The center says these elephants were orphaned because of human-wildlife conflict, abandonment, and drought. But their aim is to return these majestic elephants back into their habitat. How about using a human fertility procedure to halt the extinction of the northern white rhino? Conservationists know they are at the final countdown for saving the species. There are only two female northern white rhinos left on the planet. So in Kenya, they're using IVF, in vitro fertilization, to create rhino embryos using eggs from the remaining two females and sperm collected from northern white rhino males before they died. And this was very exciting, especially for us as caretakers, because it is a, a renewed hope that at least in the near future, we might be having some baby northern white rhinos, which is uh, what we are all hoping for. Doctors say the last two remaining northern white rhinos, named Najin and Fatu, are incapable of carrying a pregnancy. Their plan is to implant a southern white rhino with a northern white rhino embryo. The IVF process is currently being tested in zoos across the world and will hopefully be perfected in time to save the white rhino. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.